from Monist View and today in this podcast we will discuss a bull call spread strategy. Here we gonna discuss what is this strategy is all about, when to apply, how to apply, basics, adjustment, advantages and disadvantages. If you want to read the article regarding this then the article is given in the description there is a link and you can read the article so let discuss what is this bull call spread strategy is buying a call option gives you the right but not then obligation to buy a stock or other financial asset at the strike price before the calls expiration it is an efficient way to participate in securities potential upside if you have a limited capital and want to control the risk let's discuss the basic about this strategy a bull call spread is an option strategy that involve the purchase of a call option and the simultaneous sale of another call option of a same expiry date but a higher strike price. It is one of the four basic types of a price spread over vertical spread which involve concurrent purchase and sell of a two goods or a call with the same expiry but different strike price. In a bull call spread, the premium paid for the call purchase is always more than the premium received of a call sold. As a result, the initiation of a bull call spread strategy involves an upfront cost or in simple terms we can say it's a debit strategy. Selling or writing call at a lower price offset part the cost of a purchase call. This lower the overall cost of a position. The key calculations regarding this strategy are based on the strike price and the premium received. Maximum loss will be the net premium outlay plus the commission paid as this is a debit strategy. On the other hand, maximum gain will be the difference between the strike price of a call less the premium paid. The maximum loss occur when the security trade below the strike price of a long position. Conversely, the maximum gain occurs when the security trade above the strike price. Break events are basically the strike price of a long call and the net premium outlay. Let's discuss our different situation where the bull call spread can be actually conducted. Calls are expensive. A bull call spread makes sense if a calls are expensive as the cash flow from the short call will defray the price of a long call. Moderate upside is expected in the market. This strategy is ideal when the trader or investor expect a moderate upside rather than huge gains. If huge gains are expected, it is better to hold a long call only in order to derive the maximum profit. With a bull call spread, the short call leg cap gains if the security appreciate substantially. Since this is a debit spread strategy, the most of the investor can lose with a bull call spread is the net premium paid for the position. The trade-off for this limited risk profile is the potential return is cap. Options are suitable when the leverage is desired and the bull call spread is a no exception. For given amount of investment capital, the trader can get more leverage with the bull call spread than by purchasing the security outright. Let this what are the advantages of bull call spread? The risk of this trade is limited to the net premium paid for the position. There is no risk of runaway losses unless the trader close the position for long side, leaving the short call position open at the security and subsequently the price rises. Second advantage is it can be tolerated at one risk profile. Relatively conservative trader may opt for a narrow spread where the call spikes are not far apart. As this this will have an effect of minimizing the net premium outlay while restricting the gain on the trade. An aggressive trader may prefer a wide spread for maximizing the gain even if it means spreading more on the position. Third advantage is it is quantifiable measured risk reward profile. While it can be profitable if the trader bullish view works out, the maximum amount that can be lost is known upfront. Let's discuss the what are the disadvantages of bull call spread. The trader run the risk of losing the entire premium paid for the call spread. This risk can be mitigated by closing the spread well before the expiration. If the security is not performing as expected in order to salvage a part of invested capital. Second disadvantage is selling a call implies you have an obligation to deliver the security if assigned and while you could do so by exercising a long call. There may be a difference for a day or two in settling this trade and generating assessment in
in mismatches third disadvantage is profit is limited with bull call spread so this is not an optimal strategy if big gain is expected so let's discuss what is the bottom line the bull call spread is a suitable option strategy for making position with limited risk and moderate upside in most cases the trader may prefer to close the option position to take the profit or mitigate losses rather than exercising the option and then closing the position due to a significantly higher commission while doing this strategy you have to ensure one all strikes belong to a same underline second belong to the same expiry and third each leg involve the same number of points options thank you for listening with us if you want to read article regarding this the article link is in description thank you